In this video, we're going to look at how to use AI-generated images as game assets in Unreal Engine 5. As mentioned in my previous video, AI generation has unlocked the ability to create unlimited 2D assets, which can help either quickly prototype games or with a bit of polishing be used in games themselves. Let's look at how to use these assets as billboard objects in Unreal Engine, as well as how to generate quick skyboxes for your game. These assets work as normal actors with collision enabled, as well as being controllable by blueprints as we see here with the Pokemon style creatures moving around the scene in random directions. First open Unreal Engine and create a new third person project by clicking games. Third person. Type a name for the game. I'll just call this one example project, then click create. Once it finishes loading, you should see something similar to this. The user interface may be slightly different depending on the version of Unreal Engine you have installed, but it shouldn't matter for this tutorial. Here we have the standard third-person template scene, which you can press play to walk around in. Let's delete the four outer walls. And have a run around to make sure everything is working. Then let's create a new skybox for our scene. If you go to skybox.blockadelabs.com, then click on the entry field to type in what you want your skybox to look like. Here I'll just type clouds and sky, then change the style to anime art style, but you can choose whichever style you want. Then click generate. This will generate a brand new skybox using your prompt and style. It may take a while to load. Once generated, you will have a 360 degree skybox. To download this so that you can use it in your game, click the download button, which will download a .jpg image file of the skybox. Next, in Unreal Engine, drag and drop the JPEG file into your content browser. Then right-click it and choose Create Material. On the right-hand side in Item Labels, scroll down until you find SM Sky Sphere. Click it to open up the Details pane. Scroll down to find the material for the sphere. In the Material Selector, choose the JPEG file that we just added to the game. This will use the JPEG as the material for our skybox. You may need to adjust the directional lighting in your scene to get it looking how you want. But here you can see that the skybox material has now been applied in game. Next, let's create some game assets in Bing Image Creator or the image generator of your choice. Generate an image for your asset. I've found that adding white background, full view to your prompt generates the best results as we only want the asset and no background information. Here I now have a few trees which I can use in-game. Select the one that you want. I like the fourth option here. Click it to open the full view and copy it. Then in Microsoft Paint, paste the image. Once pasted, copy the image again. This just removes any formatting from the web image. Then open up an image editor like Photoshop or a free image editor like GIMP. Create a new canvas. Here the size is 1024 by 1024, and paste the image into it. In GIMP, create a new layer from the pasted image by right-clicking on the image in the layer view, then remove the white background layer by deleting it. We then want to remove all the white from the image, so using the Select tool, select the white background. To get all the pixels, choose Select, then Grow. This will increase the size of the selection. Here I want to increase the selection size by 2 pixels, then press OK, then press Delete on your keyboard. Now you should have a transparent background for your image. Once you've tidied your image up a bit, you can export it as a PNG and add it to your content folder in Unreal Engine. Once in Unreal Engine, in your content folder, Right-click on the imported image and click Sprite Actions, then click Create Sprite. If you drag and drop the sprite into your game, 
You can see the asset in your world. The only problem is, as it's a 2D asset, it doesn't look very good when you walk around it. To get round this problem, we can use a billboard object, which will make the image rotate with the camera movement so that we only ever see the image face on and never see the 2D side of it. To do this, let's go back to our content browser, right click, and create a new blueprint class. Choose actor and call it tree BP if we then double click on the newly created actor. Under add component on the left hand side, click add and type billboard. Select billboard from the drop down to add the billboard component. Then for the sprite image on the right hand side, type tree and select the tree sprite we created earlier. Change the scale to reduce the image size a little. This helps increase the image resolution and position the image so that the base is at the ground level by moving the sprite image up. We have a few artifacts that weren't removed when we created the image, so be sure to remove these on your version in GIMP. Next, as we don't want our player to walk through the tree, we need to add collision to it. In the Components tab, add another component. This time we want a box collision component. Adjust the scale of the box collision component so that it fully masks the area of the tree which we don't want to walk through and adjust the position so that it is in line with the ground. We also need to make sure a few checkboxes are ticked on the billboard component. Click it and scroll down. Make sure that the checkbox, hidden in game, is not ticked as we need to see our asset at game. Then select the box collision component again and scroll down to the collision presets. In the drop down box, select block all. Now if we compile our actor and place the actor in the game, we can see that the image rotates based on our camera angle. And collision should work as expected, we may need to adjust the collision box size depending on if there is any clipping that we don't like. This seems okay for now. Let's create another asset. This time let's create a cow for our game. So again, go to your image generator of choice and create an asset with a white background. Here I like the second option, so I'll select it, copy it into Paint, then copy it from Paint into GIMP by creating a new image at 1024 by 1024, then creating a new layer from the pasted image deleting the white background and using the fuzzy select tool with the grow selection to remove any white background on the image. Once I'm happy with the image, I can then export it as a PNG and drag and drop it into Unreal Engine into my content folder. We then do the same process as before. Right click Sprite Actions, create a sprite. In the content folder, right click, create a new blueprint class. Choose actor, then name it CowBP. Go into the actor, add a component, and search for billboard. Select billboard from the drop down list, then choose the sprite image on the right hand side by searching for cow. Scroll down and make sure the hidden in-game box isn't ticked, then adjust the scale and position of the image. Add a box collision component, scroll down to collision presets and select block all. Then compile, drag and drop the cow into the scene and test it out.
That seems to be working. The collision box needs to be a bit bigger, though. So I can just go back into the actor blueprint and change the box collision size to cover more of the cow. That looks about right. Because we use billboard components, the image will always face us. This is fine when rotating the camera left and right, but if we rotate the camera up and down, this will cause the images to rotate in an odd way that is top down. To fix this, we can limit the camera movement to just left and right. In the content browser, search for the third person blueprint. Go into the blueprint by double clicking it and look for the camera input section. We want to remove the up and down camera actions. So in the camera movement up and down section, select the node and delete it. Now we will have a fixed view which works better for billboard components. You might want to adjust the default camera angle to compensate for not being able to rotate up and down. To do this, again, go into the third person character blueprint, open the viewport tab, and select the camera. You can then drag the camera up or to your desired location, as well as rotate it if required. Now if we compile and go back into game, the camera is in a better position. As all the 2D assets are placed in the game as actors, they can be controlled via Blueprint in the same way that you would control any 3D actor in your scene. Just open the Blueprint and you can add as many nodes or features as you would like, such as movement, flip rotation, collision effects, etc. So you can use them in whatever way your game requires, but this is a great starting point to work from. Hopefully this helps you prototype your game or quickly create new assets for your levels. As always, Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful.